My name is Ashley Camera. I'm 25 years old. I was born and raised in Merida, Yucatan, Mexico. My journey with cancer began when my brother got sick. He was 22 years old. He just finished college. He graduated and he was diagnosed with myelodysplastic syndrome, which is the type of blood cancer. Typically, myelodysplastic syndrome is considered a blood cancer of older adults, and a very small percentage of MDS patients are below the age of 40. My brother had a stem cell transplant, and due to complications from the stem cell transplant, he passed away. It was almost two years of his passing, and I started having symptoms. My feet were hurting, it was very painful. I started crying, and I went to the emergency room. They started doing like different tests. The doctor came back, and he said, you have MDS. It was very scary to think that I could die and leave my mom and dad by themselves. My mom was determined to do anything, to go anywhere to save my life. That's when she connected with Dr. Lucy Godley at the University of Chicago. I remember very clearly, it was about 10.15 at night, I was in bed reading emails before going to sleep, uh, and this subject line read, can you help my children? Who can tell me why my two young children both got this old person's disease? When I was going through my medical training in medical school, nobody ever taught me that leukemia could be hereditary or blood cancers could be hereditary. This is something that didn't even exist in terms of our knowledge base five years ago. What we've realized is that uh, approximately 5 to 10 percent of all families with blood cancers have some type of hereditary basis for their blood cancer. Here at the University of Chicago, we've developed a clinical test that looks for all of the inherited mutations. And that clinical test arose from the research that we do in the laboratory. The work that I've been doing with the Damon Runyon Cancer Research Foundation funding basically has shown that by looking at those cancer cells, you're really taking a sneak peek into the DNA that people were born with as well. And sometimes you can find clues there. So in Ashley's case, when we sequenced her blood cells, that was where the first clue came of the cause of the leukemia and the MDS in Ashley's family when we saw this mutation in this gene called GATA2. Once we knew, it was just, okay, we didn't do anything, you know, like my brother and I didn't do anything to cause this. It was just something in your genes and that, that you can't control. And from that day on, we started thinking about her treatment differently in terms of stem cell transplant, stem cell donation, and where we would get stem cells from for Ashley. We have to do a stem cell transplant using a donor who does not carry that same mutation if they're in the family or choose a completely unaffected individual entirely. After a year of having a stem cell transplant, my doctor told me that I was a 100% donor, which means 100% cancer-free cells. I was so happy about that. It was the best time, best day. My life today is great. I enjoy every single day. I have two jobs, I work out, I hang out with my friends. I'm just enjoying life. I'm doing the things I've always wanted to do. Ashley's care has been directly informed by the research that's been supported by the Damon Runyon Foundation and is basically a walking example of the impact that research can have. Research changes our thinking of our paradigms. It challenges our paradigms and then that can lead to a change in medicine. It's amazing that there's foundations that support them and help them with their research. This is the product, this is what they've done, you know, like they've saved me.